Welcome. This video covers a basic guide of Crit Swift Breaker which is called Sura in KR. Breaker is a gender unlock of Scrapper. His party synergy is 6% damage. His HP and armor coefficient is same as Scrapper, so he's pretty tanky. Sura Breaker is a head attacker which has high stagger and destruction. His counter is even good. Breaker's skill mechanism works same as Scrapper. There are Stamina, the yellow skills, and Shock skills, the green and sky blue skills. Whenever you use the Stamina skills, then you lose the yellow meter but gains the green meter, like this. And whenever you use the green or the sky blue skills, then you lose the green meter but gains the yellow, like that. Whenever you use the Stamina and the Shock skills alternately, then the red meter called Sura Energy fills up, like this. Stamina to Shock. Stamina to Shock. Then you can see it's getting filled up, right? But if you use like Stamina to Stamina or Shock to Shock, then it doesn't fill up. Like Q to W, then you can see it doesn't fill up. S to F, it doesn't fill up. You have to alternate. Anyways, if it reaches max, let's say it reached max, like this, then you can press Z key and activate Sura mode. In this mode, just like Gravity Training Destroyer, you can spam auto attacks which deals a lot of damage until the end of the Sura mode. This is the reason why you would want to play Sura. You can also pause the attack like this and then continue. Because his identity has the most DPS proportion, you might think that Sura is a burst class, but he's actually closer to the consistent DPS. The other class engraving called Fist King, which will be covered in the next video, is the burst class. There are more features that Sura has. 1. The higher the crit rate is, the auto attacks become stronger as well during the Sura mode. I'm not saying this in general. Sura actually has exclusive damage increase coefficient scaling with the crit rate. So crit rate for Sura is like increasing a lot more damage compared to other classes. You might think, then a party that has crit synergy is good for Sura. Unfortunately, crit party synergy is a debuff on the mob, which reduces crit resistance. So it's not something that increases Sura's crit rate itself. Therefore, Crit synergy is not good unless you have a low crit rate due to low quality from the accessories. In other words, Sura has to build a high crit rate close to 100% by its own. 2. When you're in the combat, your movement speed increases by 15%. This allows Sura to have full efficiency from the raid captain. 3. When you activate Z, then it automatically applies the party synergy for 10 seconds. Also, the cooldown of the spacebar resets. So if you have a max meter and you're far away from the boss like this, then you can spacebar Z and spacebar again. Or, Sura can press X key to get a shield. The amount of the shield is 40% of max HP and it only lasts for 2 seconds. During the duration, you receive 20% less damage and you are immune to push attacks, but you do not get status immunity. During the 2 seconds, if you get hit by any attacks, then the duration of the shield increases by another 3 seconds, so 5 seconds in total. The cooldown of this X shield is 10 seconds, so it makes Sura Breaker have less risk to position on the head side. You can also press X during the Z mode. In that case, it refreshes the adrenaline engraving, so you can use it wisely. Gears and Stats Because of the damage scale from the crit rate, you go full crit. Specialization does nothing to Sura, so you sub Swift stat. 
for the gear, you go for Entropy. All the skills are Head Attack, including the identity. Engravings. Grudge, Kim Blunt, Raid Captain, Master Brawler, Sura at level 3, and then Adrenaline level 1. Even with the crit damage from the Entropy set, Kim Blunt is better than the other options since Sura's crit rate is close to 100%. When you run Adrenaline level 1, then the crit rate is around 64% from the 1800 crit stat, 22% from Entropy level 3, and 5% from Adrenaline 1, so that's like around 91%. If you have 9-7 stone, then it becomes much stronger with Adrenaline level 2. For people who can't afford over 1800 crit, then you can decrease it to around 1700s and then change the engraving. Adrenaline level 3 over the Keen Blunt level 3, and then Ether Predator level 1. The reason why that you have to do that is because the damage scale from the Sura's crit rate is very high. Raid Captain has full efficiency. 600 Swift gives around 10% movement speed, Yearning gives 12%, Sura's passive gives 15%, and for the rest, you get it from the Feast. For people who want to run 5 times 3, just run Adrenaline 3 over the King Blunt. Skills. I will cover this part very briefly. This skill is a dashing skill which has short cooldown, and it also has level 1 destruction. For the tripod, you run 3-1-2, the rune is legendary quick recharge. This skill is a counter skill which has party synergy. The tripod 2 3 1. The rune epic quick recharge. This skill is a dashing skill which does decent damage even though it's a stamina skill. It has level 1 destruction. For the tripod 3 2 2. For the rune gale wind. For the rest of the skills, they're all shock skills, so they all do high amount of damage. This skill, the tripod, 1-1-1. One, one, one. The rune, Gale Wind. This skill has level 2 destruction and it's good for a stagger. For the tripod, 1-3-1. One, one. And for the rune, Gale Wind. This skill is a counter skill which has party synergy as well. For the tripod, 1, 2, and for the rune, bleed rune. So, Sura Breaker is basically running two counter skills, this one and this one, and also at the same time, two party synergy skills, which are the exact same skills. This skill is good for stagger. For the tripod, 1, 3, 1. For the rune, Rage Rune. This skill is the strongest skill out of all 8. It has level 2 destruction. Tripod 3, 2, 2. For the rune, Gale Wind. For the Awakening, you run the first Awakening, which maxes out all the Sura energy. For the priority of the tripod, focus on the skills that actually does some DPS. There are 5 skills. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. For people who doesn't have 420 skill point, you can reduce the skill level from this green skill down to level 4. Gems. For the damage gems, you run 6 of them on these 6 skills, including the identity skill. When it comes to priority, the number 1 is definitely this identity skill. For the cooldown gems, you run 5 of them on these 5 skills. Okay, finally the rotation. Just keep this in mind. Stamina to shock. Stamina to shock, so on and so forth. One thing that you have to know is this skill right here. So this fist shape skill does the most damage. So whenever this is on, then you want to use this first. And let's say that you have the full meter like this. 
even though this happens, if your fist shape skill is on, then you have to use this skill first and then go into the Z mode. Okay, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, then please subscribe. See you guys in the next video about the burst build, the Fist King. Until then, stay Giga Chad. Bye bye.